Hello everyone, it is I, a retired jack of all trades with a foul mouth, Commander Urban, and this is a very special video I want to do for you guys. I want to talk a little bit about just about my collection, my SS United States collection, and about the origins of it, how, how my collection started. And just a little bit of that, whatever. I wanted to do this video. Um, I wanted to do this video for my friend Jerry. Jerry Borget. He started collecting SS United States memorabilia and artifacts as well. And, uh, you know, artifacts and memorabilia. And I wanted to do this video kind of, you know, for him and for anyone that's interested in collecting ocean on our book. About, you know, about how I started and, and all this other shit and just yeah so anyway yeah if you're watching this Jerry yeah this I, I, I thought about you when I was doing this so you know what's up so anyway I I've got a lot of my collection behind me it's in my box and stuff and I earlier was counting it and um, yeah there's a lot of items with everything I have as of right now including my new my newest piece I just recently got my tank my tank log. Hundred and thirty seven pieces. I'm not kidding you. Literally I've got it all tally marked on this thing here as I was looking at each piece I was tally marking it. 137 items, and I started this collection probably, I would say late 2009, early 2010. I would probably say around prior late 2009 because it actually started uh, by accident. The collection started by accident. But, uh, you know, before I explain about that or whatever. You got my own sense of talking about the United States. Here's a new drawing I did. The human form of the SS United States. Yes, I know. She's a lovely lady. She's a beautiful lady. Because she's a beautiful ship. So, anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, the whole starting, yeah, anyway. Uh, Tuesday, November 17th of 2009, the local paper was published of the Herald Times. And on the front cover, there I am. I made front page news, guys. And I'll find it. Um, anyway. See? There's my story about me building the SS United States. It says, go to heraldtimesonline.com slash video to see a video of Alan Urban showing his model of the SS United States. That's on YouTube. And it's got like over 2,000 views on it. So if you guys want to show it, see that, you can, you can. Anyway, it was because of that article in this paper where I got the first item. It was donated to me by a, uh, an older couple that was living in Bloomington. And right here it is. It's a dinner menu from the ship uh, from June the 19th of 1968. And they put in a, a note. And inside the note, I'll read it to you real quick. It says, We're very pleased that you want the SS United States menu to include in your special collection. But, at this time, I didn't have a collection. The only thing I had was my fucking seven-foot model, but okay. The replica of the ship was amazing. Your attention to detail and creativity are impressive. You may be interested that we sailed on the second deck toward the stern while our dog was happy in first class. Good luck in your future endeavors, the Keenans. And I remember the, the, the lady who wrote the article brought this by the school one day and she said that they donated this to me and I thought, wow, this was the very first item I ever that I ever owned. Okay. And at this time I was like, holy crap, something from the United States. I didn't think you could get stuff in the United States. This was before I met my good friend, Russ Willoughby, and he was the one that opened my eyes to the, the chaos behind me. But, um, before I go any further, I made a joke. Okay? I made this funny fucking joke. 
And you could probably take it sexual. I didn't mean it to be sexual, but then I guess it turned sexual. I said the United States was a very racy ship. She was a very fast ship. And uh, my friends were like, what do you mean? I said, well, on her maiden voyage, she stripped across the Atlantic. <laughs> she stripped. If you think of racy, fast, like racy, fast women, you know, just strip at a moment's no start fucking. No, that's not what I meant by she was stripping across the Atlantic. No, the United States was, um, she was stripping paint. Because if you look in this picture along the lower flank, paint stripped right off. And there's another picture I want to show you guys that's in the book, The Only Way to Cross, that shows this very, very well. The, uh, the paint right here, when she's being tied up at La Havre, France. See all that paint that peeled off of her? That's what I meant when she was stripping across the Atlantic. Her paint stripped off of the lower bows as she, you know, flew across the North Atlantic on her maiden voyage. So it wasn't nothing to do with sexualness, even though it could be, I guess, but it wasn't, so <laughs> funny shit. But anyway, then I met uh, my good friend, Russ Willoughby, and he was the one, and he actually gave me a an assortment of items from the ship. And I was like, wow, I thought this stuff was just a museum. He's like, oh, no, no, you can find it online. And he told me to, where to look. He said, oh, you can go here, you can go here, you can go here. But it's everywhere. You just gotta know where to look. And so because of that, and you know, he was the one that taught me what to look for and how to find it. And because of that endeavors, you know, I'm not gonna pay fucking <laughs> motherfucker. I can't fucking get up. <laughs> See? Of course, you know I've got a lot of models of this ship. These are all books about the ship. This box is filled with items from the ship. That's an original lantern from the ship. That's one of the original uh, fuel valves from the um, uh, from the aft engine room. Original travel agent's portrait, courtesy of my good friend. And of course, there's the model that is that I built for my senior project. And of course, I got a lot more models of the ship up there. And of course, this one I just recently built, my Ravel. So, yeah. yeah. So, I've been collecting this shit probably for well over a decade. I got 137 fucking items. And it took me over a decade to get what I got. Now, I'll give you guys a few bits of advice. It doesn't matter if it's the SS United States or any other ocean liner. The first thing you want to do is you want to pick a ship you want to collect stuff from. Make sure it's something a little bit affordable. If you think, oh, I'm going to collect stuff from the Lusitania, or I'm going to collect stuff from the Andrea Doria or the Titanic, you're fucked. Let me tell you right now, postcards, a simple postcard from the Andrea Doria will set you 50 bucks. Just a postcard. So, you're fucked. Do something a little bit more simpler, like the Mauritania, the Olympic. There are some affordable Olympic stuff I've seen. The United States, the America, the Christopher Colombo, the Elle de France, the France. If you start getting to like the Normandy, you're going to pay a little bit higher, but it's still doable. Pick a ship you really love. Go to several websites. eBay. Grand Liner Lounge, Luxury Liner Row, Cabin Class Collectibles, Steamship Exchange, and it goes on and on and on. And if you want to put an ad somewhere looking for memorabilia from this ship, you know, put your name out there. I'm looking for stuff from this ship. That's how you find it. you you got to search for it. You can't just sit there and wait for it to come to you. You gotta go out there and fucking find it. Even though, well, stuff did find me, but most of the shit behind me, I found myself. And of course, a few things people donated. That's another thing donations. If somebody's willing to give you something, fucking take it. Because 
Why not? They're what they want you to have. It's a fucking take it. You know. I know it sounds kind of greedy, but you know, if, if they're willing to give it to you, they must think that you're a worthy person of having it. So accept it. Be kind about it. Say thank you. Go on with it. And there you go. That's basically all the advice I fucking got for you guys. It's not that hard. Or oh, one other thing. Make sure you use your common sense. Study the ship. Study everything that was used on board that ship. And so when you look at stuff, you know it's actually from that ship. Because, you know, some people could fuck you over. They could fucking screw you over. Make sure you don't get screwed over. Do your homework. Do your research. That's what I do when I buy all this shit. When I buy all this shit from my collection. I do my research. I know, like I said, I know the SS United States like the back of my fucking hand. Wait a minute. I wasn't there before. I'm nah, just kidding. I was just fucking with you guys. I knew that was there. That fucking scar was there, but you, you get the point. So here you go, guys. That's, that's everything I gotta say about it, you know. Like I said, you know, the way I started collecting, it was an accident. Like I said, because of an article in the paper which led to this, which led to me meeting one of my good friends, you know, an old friend of mine for years and years, and then it started, it spurred out all this shit behind me, and then so. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about anything, leave me in the comment section below. I'll fucking get back with you. And as always, if you're new to the, to, the, to the channel, hit that fucking subscribe button, hit the damn notification bell, become part of the comments crew, and never miss another video ever again. And until next time, this is Commodore Irwin. In the smooth season, clear skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless you. Stay healthy. Stay awesome. Stay yourselves. And, um, you know, that's like I said to all the haters. Fuck you guys. Screw off. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, I'll see you later.